up, weirdos! <laughs> oh, it's a good day today. Good morning, everyone. Man, did I ever sleep good last night with my back doors of the van wide open. I got to see that first thing in the morning. The breeze was just coming over the bed. Woo, it was amazing. Uh, what a great way to wake up, man. Welcome to my day today. The sun is just peeking out. It's a little bit cloudy though. The temperature is really warm. Like it's got this mugginess to it. Man, this is such a great way to wake up. Whew. Woke up, edited a video, had myself a morning coffee, took a shit in a pail. I put the pail right there beside the chair. I took a shit this morning. Looking at that. It was, it was one of those moments where it's like, whew, this is, okay. It was oddly exciting to be pooping in a pail and looking out at this. It was so freaking cool. And I never thought I would ever say that, but real van life moments that were just, it was exciting. All right, I gotta go upload a video because you guys haven't gotten a video. You didn't get a video yesterday, um, by the time you, yeah, okay. <laughs> I gotta go into town to get some Wi-Fi and Lillooet is probably be about 30 minutes that way or something like that. What do you say, Cruz? Ready to go? Hey? <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's start this video. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. Where are we, buddy? But life can be furious and things can go wrong. <laughs> you go, you go. We're better off tomorrow. But who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly. We I'm back for a little visit at the Seton Dam Campground, and I like this place. It's in Lillooet, BC, and the best part is the camping is totally free. There's outhouses, running water, fire pits, but it's amazing. It's quiet, it's shaded, it's perfect. I got bug screens because it's probably going to be bugs. Um, <laughs> but before we talk about what I want to talk about today, I need to get something off my mind. Um, I want to talk about free parking for a second. I have somebody that I know that just recently started van life that has watched my channel religiously and watched other people's van life channels. And now that they've gotten into the van, they're really struggling with finding places to park. Even though they watch me do it on the day-to-day -day basis and watch multiple videos I've made about parking, and I think what it is, is this the blockage in your mind when you're like, well, maybe people are watching me or is this allowed or is this safe? Um, don't pay for parking when you first get into the van. I mean, I understand maybe the first couple nights hit up the campground to see if the van's comfortable, but I'm hoping before you start van life, you've at least spent a few weeks living in your van before you actually leave the apartment that you're living in and get branching out to live in the van. That's my suggestion is get out there and know what it feels like before you jump into the lifestyle because that way you know what you're getting into. The worst thing you want to do is is want it. Then when you actually do it, you're like, whoa, this is not for me. Um, just, just a quick suggestion for that. But there are so many free places to park. And my suggestion is when you first start van life, just dive into it. Park in every possible scenario you could think of. Park in front of apartment buildings. Park on the backside of townhouses. Park beside of businesses and industrial parks. And beside like nice pretty parks or by forests or down in, down in the back of a dead end road. Whatever you're feeling, just go try it all. Why not try every place you've ever heard people park? Try it all in the first week and you're gonna find out super, super quick what kind of parking is good for you. Not everybody, and I learned this, I learned this with having this great big long conversation with this person yesterday, that van life came easy for me. 
finding places to park came easy for me. I just pulled over. Like my very first night in the van, I parked right downtown Vancouver by our big, huge stadium, BC Place Stadium. And it's super, super busy down there. Like that's right in the core of downtown Vancouver. And that's where I slept. And I think you just kind of got to dive right into it. Um, but I get it. If you want to do campgrounds for your first few nights, I get it. But keep in mind, guys, van life is free. It's free to sleep. That's the key to it. It's free to freaking sleep. And if you are going to stay at a campground, do it in the off season when they're free. I know in my area, camping is big time free in the off season, unless you're closer to like bigger cities. But I know if you're in the outskirts where the campsite places aren't manned, where they don't have somebody who does regular patrols in there, the camping is free. And here in Lillooet at the Seton or Seton, Seton, always mess that up at the Seton Dam campground, it is free the whole time it is open. Great people here. Anyway, sorry, I just I had to get that off my mind because it was just in there and it was like in there to the point that I'm probably gonna make another parking video and I don't wanna make another parking video. Okay, look at Chromie's got bug screens. <laughs> All right, well, stop, stop having fun with your bug screens. <sighs> I got bug screens. I haven't done anything with these. I had a subscriber send me these giant bug screens and it looks like they were originally like a zippered set for like, I don't know, maybe one of those big pop-up tents because they're exactly the same size. They do zip together. But here, here's the thing. I really, really wish I remembered who sent this to me because you know, this was like last year when I first started my, even longer than last year is when I first started my channel. And I don't even remember what his name was. So if you are still watching my channel, please make a comment down below and thank you. The story behind getting the bug screens is I had a subscriber that had a van just like mine. I believe it was like mine anyway. And they got this set to put on the side door and the back door. And they had just enough to do my van exactly. Like these things practically fit the door frame. They overlap a little bit, but they're pretty close to just like being ideal. And the bottom of it's been cut. So I think they might have actually cut it to fit my van as well too, making this a super easy install. I just never put it up. And I ran into some pretty nasty bugs last year. And it wasn't until I slept in, uh, slept, <laughs> slept, slept in the place that I parked last night that I realized that this would have been really awesome. Like I slept with my back doors open all night last night. This would have been amazing because I could have slept with the side doors open as well too, which would have been great. Um, I'm still not too sure how I'm gonna be mounting these on the side doors. When that person sent them to me, they sent it to me ready to go with Velcro. So I might pop the Velcro on today just to kind of just get me through the night here tonight. But I'm gonna be, I don't know, finding a better way to do this. What I might do is I might just buy those magnets, those really heavy duty magnets and just magnet it, it around. But the only problem is, is on the side door, there's no center to open up to get in and out. And I think maybe sometime down the line, ain't gonna be soon, but sometime down the line, I wouldn't mind getting proper screens, like the really nice fancy ones. Um, I met a subscriber of mine that lives in Penticton, BC. He's originally from Ontario, so what's up, man? Um, thanks for taking me out for pizza out there, by the way. It was so good. We had cheeseburger pizza at Bad Tattoo. <laughs> Tasted like a freaking Big Mac. It really did, it was so good. High five everybody at Bad Tattoo Brewing, by the way. I love you guys. And um, so anyway, he had these nice, big, fancy custom screens. I should have filmed it. Um, he owns a big Sprinter van, but he bought these really, they were expensive. He said they were like $1,500 or something, but they had these fancy screens and they unzipped and they slid off to the side. Um, I took a picture of the, of the uh, website. So I'm gonna take a look into those and see what it's gonna cost to get them in mine. But I think for now, I'm just gonna magnet these around the door. So how many of you guys are getting into van life and have thought what you're gonna do for bug screens? I wish I knew where that person got these, but I don't. So if that person's still a subscriber, it's like a year and a half ago, so I probably doubt it. Um, it'd be rad, mention it in the comments and I'll pin your comment to the top. So let's go see how good these fit. That thing's actually a pretty good fit. 
I think I'm gonna go buy those magnets from Amazon, I think, because I could just pop these all the way around and stick these to the outside of the van, like over here. And it'll hold it all up just temporarily until I decide what I want to do for a permanent fix. But today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick three pieces of Velcro along the top and just stick the top in, tuck the things around the side edges and at least get me covered for tonight. Perfect. And just tucking the rest of this stuff inside of the van behind my cabinet. Done deal. There's no bugs getting in there tonight. Somebody's having a puppy dream. <laughs> Cruz is getting so freaking big. When I got him, he used to be like the size of my foot. Now he's like three feet. Oh, he's running again. Run, Chris, run. Run, buddy, run. <laughs> he's so cute when he dreams. Oh, wow, you can't even notice the screen. How awesome. <laughs> Oh, that is so nice. Why didn't I do that before? Like that took me like three freaking minutes. And I had everything that guy gave me all sitting in the back drawer for like the last year. So here's where I need help from you. I know some of you are really well with doing your research and you guys are online. You guys have probably already looked at screens and or companies that manufacture these custom. Here's my thought. I got this ramp here for my dog and every time we're out at a place like this or out somewhere social at a park or around other people, I always make sure the ramp stays out here so if the dog ever gets tired or gets tired of people or is thirsty or hungry, he's got a way to go in and out of the house all the time. So if I'm ever camped out somewhere or boondocking somewhere and there's a lot of bugs and I have this screen up, it's gonna pose a problem for crews wanting to get in and out of the house. So if anybody knows or anybody can do this for us, that'd be rad. I'll happily pay you guys if someone out there can, can do it with the quality that, that will last, you know, <laughs> last the length of this van anyway. I would love a custom screen built for here that has a zipper going up the front so I can get in and access the van and have a doggy door right here at the bottom that pushes in and pushes out. And maybe with like a little bit of a white edge around it so the dog knows it's a door and because how awesome would that be if crews can just go in and go out and the bugs just stay out i think that would be super rad and super awesome anyway everybody i'm breaking a sweat right now which means it's probably time to crack myself a beer another one and enjoy the rest of my day today so if anybody has any suggestions about screens and stuff please leave them in the comments and thanks for spending a little bit of time with me and i'll see you guys tomorrow